Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be just a relaxing, chill little get ready with me. I'm gonna show you guys just a little process. One thing about me is I love getting ready on the floor. I can't do it anywhere else. Like I just hate it. I've had vanities before. Bathrooms you have to stand. Like I'm just not gonna, I'm just not wanting to do that. So I like to just put a throw blanket down then have a mirror in front of me and that's how I get ready. But just got out of the shower. First thing we're gonna use is the CeraVe um, moisturizer. This is so good, because especially because it's the winter. And I also use their acne cleanser when I'm in the shower too. Um, it's so good, it's like an acne wash. I would put on sunscreen, but it's pretty dark out right now. So there's no reason to. And we are actually getting ready to make a little video inside. Just pat it on the eye area because you don't want to be aggressive with your eyes. And one thing about me is I have such thick, long hair. And I'm gonna show you guys if you have super thick, super long hair like I do, how I, I can give myself a blowout in like three seconds, like you guys are gonna see. Okay, that's an exaggeration, three seconds, but anyway. First thing we're gonna do is the hair. Yeah, I'm just filming a little baking video as well today. So I was like, you know what? Let me show you my get ready process too. And yeah, I feel like every, everybody likes getting ready somewhere. Specific, and for me, that's the floor. Like I will never not get ready on the floor. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is the hair. Okay, you guys can't really see. Let me just change positioning. My hair is super long and it's super thick. I'm Iraqi, so I have thick curly hair. This is a strength and restore black making castor oil. We are going to put this in first before we brush because we don't want to create as little breakage as possible. So just that much on each side. Like I said, guys, it's super long, so I put a lot more than you really need to, than, unless you have hair as long as I do. I don't know what that was, that was crazy. Kind of scared me a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other side, just kind of brushing it in with our hand. And this is just like a super easy, like, if you want to be low maintenance but look high maintenance like vibe like i'm going to show you exactly what i do just hit you know taking care of your skin so you don't really even need that much concealer but i also just have good skin okay so anyway we're done with that and then we're going to slowly just brush it through starting at the bottom and slowly making our way to the top we just roughly split it but we're going to part our hair afterwards and one thing about me is i'll never lie to you guys like I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, oh, you're perfect just the way you are and nobody will judge you. No, that's just not the world we live in. People judge each other based on appearance. You know what I mean? So the more you can just take care of your appearance, just, it doesn't need to be crazy. You don't need to look like a supermodel, but you just need to look put together. You know what I mean? And I feel like there's just so much lies and this lies going around. Like, oh, you're perfect just the way you are. Don't judge, don't judge others. No, everyone is judging each other based on appearance. We all have eyes and we're all judging each other. You know what I mean? Like when you see somebody, you are judging them. You might not be conscious of it. Maybe the people who say that are just not conscious of it. See, look how easy that makes it to brush. You guys, beautiful. But everybody's judging each other, whether they like to admit it or not. So why not use it to your advantage? And everybody, anybody who's ever been overweight or just had a crazy glow up, like you were overweight and then you became like skinny or whatever, like, you know what I mean? Like you just had a crazy glow, glow up, some kind of glow up. Everybody who's had that understands that. And for me personally, like I was definitely uglier and I see the difference now that I'm not as ugly. I'm allowed to say that on here. I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but like I'm telling you guys, it's real. Like don't let anyone lie to you. You should care about your appearance. You should look clean and put together. It's not anything crazy. Like I'm not saying, oh my gosh, go get plastic surgery. I'm just saying like, you know, have a routine, have something, take care of your skin, take care of yourself type of vibe. Nothing crazy though. Okay, we're just going and doing a little part. Oh yeah, I guess it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna show you guys a little blowout trick. Okay, we'll do the part at the end then because I'm gonna show you guys how fast I can blow out my hair. First, we're going to just let this air dry a little bit. 
because it's a little bit too wet. So yeah, we're just gonna let it air dry a tiny bit. While we wait for it to air dry, I guess we can do the makeup that we're gonna do for this day. We're not doing that much. Let me see if I can find my little clips. Okay, no, I can't, whatever, it's fine. So let's just go in with the telescopic mascara. I wanna get the true black. Right now I'm just using, come on, there we go. I'm just using the regular, but I probably should use a true black because I'm Arab and I have super dark hair, but it's okay. So let's do the mascara. We're just gonna look down and anything that, like any residue, you can just get once it dries. Don't worry too much about that. And then same thing, just look down. Or sorry, like blink basically. Um, okay. There we go. And then once it dries, we can just, you know, simple as that. Okay. And then I have a little eyelash curler. Let's just wait a little bit longer to use it. And then I have the one size baking powder thing. Like, I don't know how deep we're gonna do our makeup today. Let's just, let's just make it a chill look. Let's just do something chill. The lip gloss I use, guys, I've literally gotten $40 lip glosses, $50 lip glosses. I've, I've used Laneige. I'm telling you, just go to your local Walmart and get yourself a pack of this. Carmex, whatever it's called, the best. And one thing about me is, I'm obviously Arab, I have super thick hair. I don't actually need to fill in my eyebrows. If anything, I need to freaking wax it before I have a unibrow. So I don't have to do like any makeup on my eyebrows, but if you want, I can show you guys a plucking routine, like exactly how I get them to look like this because I do not trust anybody with my eyebrows. I do them myself. So that's that. Okay, let's just do the hair really quickly. Let's get it out of the way because I'm gonna show you guys the fastest trick to get a blowout. So basically I'm gonna flip my head upside down. Oh yeah, you need one of these, like one of these brushes. If you guys have this, it'll help so much. You can use a blow dryer too. Um, this is the Landot, like little, it's like literally $40 on Amazon. Basically, you're gonna flip your head upside down, literally like this, and you're just gonna do brush the outside and then brush the inside. So I'll show you a little bit and you just do that for like 10 minutes and you're gonna be done. Like here, let me just show you, show you guys. So flip it upside down. Um, okay guys, so I did about 10 minutes like that of just like having my hair upside down and blow drying it. I just pr didn't really wait until it was 90% dry. Um, so I'm just gonna let it air dry a little bit more too and then do it again, cause it's still a little bit damp. And if you have that dampness, it's gonna become frizzy. You have to make sure it's fully dry. But just let it air dry, you know, let the air do most of the work for you. So I can't find my like cute little aesthetic, you know, little clips. Oh. Just as I was saying that, I found my cute little aesthetic clips. But like I said, I don't even know if I'm gonna do any skincare. I'm kind of breaking out over there. Um, I don't really know if we're gonna do any concealer. Or okay, I found one black one and one pink one. So that's what we're going with today. And did I? Did I put that in wrong? Yeah, I did. Um, for the eyebrows though, I will just like brush them. So I used to have a little like spoolie type of thing, which I would recommend, but this is like a little hair gel that I got a long time ago and I still use. And I'm just gonna like d basically like dab it into my eyebrows. So like that, like that. And as I said, Find my spoolie. You can literally just use a toothbrush for this. Like it's not that serious. I'm just gonna use the tip of this little, this little thing, this little thing, basically that I also use for my like uh, hair. 
And I'm just gonna brush them the way I want them to go, which is like basically a 45 degree angle, like that. And this will make them stay in place so well and just make you look more put together. I'm just gonna rub a little bit of that gel out. Yeah, and then anything you want, like you wanna clean anything up, but like, that looks good to me. Um, anyways. Let's maybe dry my hands a little bit on a paper towel. Oh, my sister just texted me happy anniversary. Thank you. It's my anniversary, guys. Anyway, we're going to use the, oh my God, to die for. Yeah, it's getting frizzy. See what I mean, guys? We're going to go in again. Don't worry. Um, okay, Stila. We're going to put in a little bit of highlighter. Just a tiny bit. I'm using my fingers. I don't care. Um, just in the corners right there. A little bit underneath where the brow bone sits on the cupid's bow of the lip. Okay, look at that. Love that look. And then do a little bit over here, a little bit over here. Okay, let's go in with the second blow dry. So we're gonna flip, by the way, I didn't show you guys. I use this heat protectant. I use this heat protectant. We're gonna do the second flip and because it, my hair is pretty dry now, like it's actually, it's getting there. It's like 90% there. So this is gonna be the final one. We're gonna do the second flip and then I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the routine. Okay, when you unflip it, which is what I just did, it's gonna be really poofy and tangled, but it's gonna give it so much volume, you guys. So let's, it's still a little bit damp. Let's brush it out. And now that we got like basically, this is like 90% of it done, right? For like a just quick hair routine. We're gonna part the hair from the back. We'll fix the part in the front too. So we just brush it back to get, and then to get the part, you just kind of like fluff it and it'll naturally just be found. Practice made perfect. Okay, let's brush it up. Beautiful. Oh, we did a lot of work. It's a neck workout, you know, but I'm telling you, it's so much faster than like trying to part your hair and trying to, you know, do it all slowly. Okay, a little bit sweaty, but it's fine. So let's just do the little touch-ups that we want to get done. Or dry it out, you know. looking pretty good to me if I wanted to really perfect it or make it look perfect I would wait till it was like 95% dry first I had more time to um, but this is looking honestly good and oh yeah I would curl the ends like if I really wanted to get that perfect look but maybe you know go in there with a little straightener for the baby hairs but anyway it's fine this is the look guys this is cute we're gonna just pick out some earrings and call it a, oh yeah, earrings and an alpha and call it a day. But that was just our simple little makeup and hair get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll do more, oh, sorry I didn't talk that much. No, I talked, yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you know, like, comment and make sure you let me know if you do want to see more. It really, I really do appreciate all the engagement. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Have a good night. Bye.